Good evening and welcome. Of recent times, we've been hearing a lot of things that have been going on in Punjab, especially to Punjabi and the Sikh communities. We've seen the burning and the desecration of the Guru Granth Sahib Ji. We've also seen where a lot of innocent victims and people have been bullied, have been killed, and of course, are going through torturous, torturous um, situations. With that, there's a lot of other things that are also going on that need awareness with the Punjabi and the Sikh community. And one of them is bullying. Bullying comes in all different um, ways, in all different sorts. Someone can bully you physically, someone can bully you through online social media, and some people just bully you through jokes. After a while, when there are so many jokes repeatedly, repetitively said, it's not a joke anymore. It becomes racism. When you think about it, when we're talking about different communities, we talk about um, you know different uh, country states in India. You talk about Gujarat. You talk about Mumbai. You talk about people from Bihar, Haryana, Punjab, anywhere. When we're to, or even for South, when we're talking about people and we're making fun, there are people out there who are making fun. When they talk about it, they'll say a Gujarati person is doing that because they're from Gujarat. Um, or a South Indian person is doing it because they're from South. But we never say a Christian person or a Hindu person because that's a direct assault towards their religion, not towards the place where they live, but towards their religion, which now is a more direct hit, which has been going on with the Sikh community, the Punjabi community, for years. And finally, someone has stepped up to put a stop to it and to bring about a change where they're letting people know that it's not right, it's not acceptable to discriminate somebody just because of their religion. For that, we have somebody with us all the way from India joining us who are going to tell us a little bit more about this. And they have stemmed something that has gone viral and it's bringing change. And we absolutely believe that this will bring a change. So I want to uh, introduce you all to my guest today, Mr. Ravinder Paul Singh Kohli, all the way from Delhi. Good evening. How are you? I'm, I'm fine. Good evening, everybody. Vaigruji ka khalsa. Vaigruji ki fateh. And um, Ravinda Palji, of course, it's a pleasure having you here today. First, I want you to share with our viewers this, this ban sick jokes. We've been seeing this uh, petition all across the internet now, and it's really become viral just in a matter of days. So tell me, where did this petition stem from? And all of a sudden, how come this is, I understand this is being now allowed to go into Supreme Court in India to ban jokes against Sikhs. Where did this come about all of a sudden? See, uh, I just came back from the US uh, last week. And on Friday last, that is the 30th of October, a uh, red petition was filed in the Supreme Court of India, which is labeled as PIL 130 of 2015, by a senior advocate called uh, Harvinder Chaudhary. Uh, I later on uh, took some interest in the matter and then I called up her in the Chaudhary. I realized that uh, it was a tough job for her to convince the Supreme Court be bench already sitting there that this is a matter which concerns almost every Sikh child all across the world. Her in the Chaudhary is a Sikh uh, woman from an Amritari Sikh family, married to a Hindu, now separated, and she wanted both her children one son and one girl to remain six. But what she found challenging was the boys, boy and the girl were being bullied almost every day in the schools to the point that they came under a lot of pressure. They wanted to cut their hair. They wanted to move away from Sikhism. Mm -hmm. And probably her story resonated with me well because I remember I was born and brought up in Odisha. I was probably the only Sikh in the school and uh, it was a daily trauma for me to go to school. Even though I was a topper in the school, still, I used to always get teased, bara bajge and all that stuff, which mm -hmm. as if I was an idiot or somebody of a low intellect. Mm -hmm. That used to hurt my psyche very badly. And uh, what we wanted to do through this uh, online signature petition is that we want to supplement the original writ petition filed in the Supreme Court of India. Okay. Fortunately for us, we just completed our 72 hours after uploading this petition. Okay. And probably this is one of the fastest moving petitions today ever got that got on the Sikh community. Okay. Because last time we did was with the FIBA uh, ban on turban. I remember. Which uh, got a lot of support all across the world. And we were fortunate that it, the ban got turned around mm -hmm. and it was a positive move. Okay. 
This time we have already got around more than 7,000 odd signatures in 72 hours, which is pretty good. Okay. We probably have time till first week of January okay. before the Supreme Court bench hears this case. Okay. And uh, senior advocate Harvinder Choudhury would have to argue on this. Okay. While digging for facts, Gurmeji, I was surprised. Uh, I thought there was no relation with the ethnic jokes and hate speech. Mm -hmm. But now, when I researched more, I realized that the Human Rights Commission has clearly defined, the US Human Rights Commission also has clearly defined, the European Human Rights Commission has already defined that ethnic jokes are a form of hate speech. Okay. And yesterday, yesterday, the government of India writes to the Supreme Court, it's a BJP-led government, it writes to the Supreme Court saying that go ahead and prosecute Subramanam Swami who is a senior BJP leader for inciting violence and hate speech. Okay. So for me, I can see a direct relation. The governments are not concerned that communities should not get offended by verbal abuse. Hmm. Abuse of any kind, violence or verbal, is, is almost the same. And this is as per the charter that UNO has laid out, the human rights have laid out, and even the constitution of India has laid out. Okay. And despite that, as you rightly said, we do not find any other instance where jokes are made on Christians, Hindus, or Muslim brothers. Mm -hmm. Why is it always a Sikh? And that too, portraying the Sikh as a person who is an idiot, or probably who's, who doesn't know English, or who doesn't know manners, or who doesn't understand simple things. This yeah. is how Sikhs are being portrayed. It's always been in a degrading manner. In India, and despite that, we have been labeled as uncouth idiots. So let me ask you, how many signatures are needed on this petition in order for this petition to move forward or to be admitted into the Supreme Court? Yeah, see, the petition, writ petition formally has already been admitted. Okay. This signature petition, there were two things which the Honorable Court said, and a person like me did not uh, resonate with that. Mm -hmm. I'll just let you know. Number one, the court said, probably there might be six who will have no complaints against six jokes, who mm. have no problem with six jokes. Okay. I'm sorry to say, I have spoken to six all across the world, and each one of us faces this daily trauma of people trying to pull our leg, saying Bara Bajge. They do not even know the significance of Bara Bajge. Of what that means, yes. This is the yes. way, are you going to remember a community in history? A community which shed its own young people to save your girls, and then on top of that, after 500 years, you get to hear Bara Bajge. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is this is like uh, too intolerable. Mm -hmm. Next thing, which Supreme, Honorable Supreme Court commented also during the uh, hearing with Harvinder Chaudhary, mm -hmm was that this is casual fun. Casual fun. See, casual fun. Okay. And I'm sorry to say, playing with religious sentiments is not casual fun. Absolutely. You, you love Punjabi pop. We appreciate that. You love Punjabi bhangra. We appreciate that. Bollywood breathes and eats and sleeps Punjabi. Mm -hmm. I appreciate that. But Santa Banta jokes and that too on religious basis, Bara Bajge, standing on the roads, people tell Sardars, Aap to Bara Bajge hai? Yep. Is this a way to address the people who have sacrificed? If you look at me, I'll just tell you my background. Mm -hmm. I never got to see my grandfather okay. because he chose to move away from his family and joined Azad Hind Forge before the independence struggle. Okay. I lost him and I found him on a pillar, engraved on a pillar in Andaman Nicobar Islands. Oh, wow. I mean, our community has given so much and this is what we get. And my two sons, I have two sons, mm -hmm. they also got the same bullying in the school and I can understand what sick American kids are facing in America. And I, I, I would appreciate one thing of the American society, at least they, they are so cultured and civilized that today in America you cannot point fingers and, at somebody and say you are a Negro or you are a Jew. That's absolutely racist. Absolutely. In India, you can get away with saying anything. You know what? I mean, for us also, we call all South Indians madrasis, as if, uh, as if all of them are madrasis. That's being very insensitive. Absolutely. And you know what? Like you said, um, 
there are jokes being made out there based on what area of the of the states in India you come from, and the jokes are based on the areas itself, but not directly on religion. But in America, I know there's not also a lot of freedom yeah. of speech. But yes, uh, harassment is something that's taken very seriously over here in America. But then there's also these statutes for um, you know your constitutional rights for freedom of speech. But in India, I know there, I you know uh, the freedom of speech is very open. So when people are making jokes like this, that's one question that I also have. Then when this gets admitted into the Supreme Court to be discussed, will the freedom of speech uh, statutes or constitutional rights now infringe upon this, that people are allowed to say what they want to? Are we putting a ban on their freedom of speech as well? Is that something else that they, you think the Supreme Court might come back with and say? See, I would say this is the maturing of the civility of the Indian society. Mm -hmm. We are still an unstructured nation. Mm -hmm. It's not like the USA where you are very formal, very structured. Mm -hmm. Everything is in place. I was today researching on racism and mm -hmm. I realized there is a center of study uh, for white American people, okay. which has defined racism in 2000 words. If you open up Oxford Dictionary, mm -hmm. it defines racism in just one paragraph of hardly 100 words. Mm -hmm. And here they have come up to, they have come up with 2,000 words wherein individual instances clearly label that slur, jokes, or verbal abuse on ethnicity or religion is hate speech. Okay. I mean, this is, this is racism. And, and I believe in Indian society, we also have to learn to grow up. After the Nirbhaya uh, gang rape, probably India woke up on how uh, patriarchal our society was and yeah. how we took girls for granted as if they were, uh, they were simply objects of desire. Yes. And today, if, if India has moved toward a positive step, I believe mm. this also should be a positive step. And I would also appreciate if jokes are banned on Northeast people whom we call chinkies. Okay. It's a general word that they use here, chinkies, for yes. Northeast. Yes. For uh, Pathans also they use a lot of jokes, mm -hmm. although they are, again, on geographical backgrounds, not on religion. Not on religion. But still, okay. it, does, it seems very insensitive. Okay. One more uh, important point, uh, Gurmiji, I want to tell you, mm -hmm. and I really want to convey to my community, is that, I'm sorry to say, we always try to voice our opinion by coming on the streets, and brandishing swords and sticks. This is what I have seen since since ages. Whenever, even yes. when I was young, mm -hmm. FIBA campaign that we did last year was an example of how pressure building, lobbying, and negotiating with the right authorities at the right platform worked, and the ban got overturned without a single uh, mob getting incited or a protest or a dharna taking place or a or probably any any such thing taking place which becomes a nuisance and then these people label us as radicals yeah i think so it's time we, that... i really want to appeal to all of us mm -hmm. all, all the companies go ahead. Go ahead. that we should we should start thinking and working in this direction like sick coalition celdaf and many other organizations have been doing in the u.s mm -hmm. lobbying and pressure building and then actually making the voices heard. Absolutely. This we also have to mature as a community and try to work the same manner in India. And this is what I learned from the American society. I think the power of penmanship, you need to be, you know, we need to understand it's so much more powerful than just voicing your opinion because you know what? One person can raise their voices, 10 people can raise their voices. But when you have hundreds and thousands raising their voices through their penmanship, that carries a whole lot more weight. So you know what, Rubiji, tell me, I'm looking at the website that's displaying on the screen continuously about banning sick jokes. How can one go about to get involved to sign this petition to move forward? And how many signatures are needed in order for this change to come about or to move forward? That's so it's, it's quite simple. You need to go to this website called change.org. Mm -hmm. And you can see the spellings there, slash ban sick jokes. Or you can go into the search window and search for ban sick jokes. You okay. just have to fill in your name, your location, your email address, and click on sign here. Okay. And you are already registered there. 
at oh. the end of the petition what we will do is we will print out the hard copy of all the signatures all the names mm -hmm. and submit it in a box to the supreme court on the day of the hearing okay. that honorable supreme court you said even six might not uh, want to have this ban mm -hmm. and this is what sikhs want and even our non sikh brothers lot of them even muslims and hindus if you go, if go through the signature campaign you will realize that there are a lot of non sikh people who say their sikh brothers have done a lot for the country we do not want to ridicule them we do not want to humiliate them this i i believe when it goes to the supreme court probably they might find an answer to their query to the lawyer saying that probably sikhs might not object to this so as you know a sikh what? i can tell you almost uh, every sikh feels offended with with this. Yes. I just want to let our viewers know as well that we're running the website on the screen uh, www.change.org backslash ban sick jokes. You can also go on Twitter and put hashtag ban sick jokes as well to spread the word forward. So now uh, Ruby G do let me know that once these signatures are gone through what's the next step? Uh, what is the next thing that we need to do in order to make yeah. sure that this is implemented? Okay. Uh, what we have done is we have linked this the online petition with the original writ petition okay so this is a supplementary petition to the original petition filed in the supreme court okay this whole petition will be printed out with okay. the names location signature mm -hmm. of the people okay in, uh, who have signed on this and these will be submitted to the supreme court on the day of the hearing saying that these are the many people these are the people i i would believe 100000 signatures would definitely make or put some pressure on the supreme court that this is a matter of grave importance mm -hmm. this is not something that they can simply sweep under the carpet and say there are a lot many priority high priority things pending right now mm. and this probably is not a very serious thing i i would like to state here that these jokes ethnic jokes might become serious some day absolutely because they are a form of hate speech they are a form of some community is trying to dominate one community which really does not uh, which we laugh away I, i i also laugh at myself mm -hmm. we have the humor but we 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 should not be racist not at the cost of my religious identity absolutely absolutely and you know what this is something anyone in the world can get involved in for change.org/bansikjokes anyone worldwide can go to this website go to this petition you can voice your opinion by signing this petition that you will not stand for any kind of bullying or harassment to anyone from any one particular religion so please do do your part and go ahead and sign this and uh, ruby ji of course any last words that you would like to share with us uh, yeah two things one i would like to thank baba ipal singh ji he was the inspiration behind this when i spoke to him mm -hmm. he took hardly half a second to say this should be done immediately when you say sikhs even guru sahibs were sikhs even pai gurdas he was a sikh there were many others who were sikhs so you are labeling all of them as idiots we do not want to do that this should be stopped number 2 i would request every sikh brother every hindu brother all across the world who empathize with this cause please go ahead and at least rope in 10 of your friends to sign this petition our target is 100000 signatures and if vaigro wills we should have this 100000 signatures in the next 5 to 6 weeks and prepare all the supplementary petition and submit it to the supreme court so that they also find an answer to the query that six might not object to this i'm sorry to say 100% of the six object to this great Well, thank you so much, uh, Ruby Ji, for Rupendra Pal Ji for sharing that with us. And of course, I know you've uh, Baba Iqbal Singh Ji has been a pioneer in many ways for Kalgidhar Kalgidhar Trust for Badu Sahib, and you are their um, advisor for media relations for public relations. You've brought about many changes. Of course, the one with the basketball uh, petition you had done. which was really received very well by the international community and you guys did bring about a change so we want to thank you for personally taking this cause up and uh putting this petition forward and we do hope that the change will come about for the betterment of everyone with that we thank you so much um for this and for sharing the information with our viewers and we'll look forward to the update from you when it comes about okay
Thank, thank you. you so much. You're welcome. With that, we thank you all for watching our show. And please do go ahead and sign this petition and make your voices heard to stop this form of racism and bullying. Any kind of racism, any kind of bullying to any individual, any community, any ethnicities, ethnicity is absolutely not tolerable. So please do your part and help raise the voice to bring about a better change.